Feature Friday. The freshest. Anyways, <laughs> let's travel to the pre- well, well, maybe not the present, but she is, I guess, very new generation, and uh, she's quite young, and she's performing with one of our friends as well, Jr. Uh, which is super cool to say. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> yes. Um, and her name, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Uh, Elimane is... Ilona? Ilona? Ilona, Ilona, Ilona Garcia. Gra- Ilona Garcia. Um, and she's going to perform in the Wish Bus. Okay. Called maybe a little bit. She's also with 88 Rising. Cool. I, I don't know what type of music she does. Filipino power, let's go. What do you imagine, R&B? Yeah. Well, JR as well, mixed. Okay, she is a vibe. Ah! Okay. And she's wearing Michael Jackson merch. This happened two years ago. Oh, okay. is hard. So this man woke up and he chose violence. Power. He chose he chose violence, okay? That no <laughs> it comes in so strong because everything's so like Philippine velvety. Power, it's like Damn. everything's so velvety and so sensual and everything is like really low key. She is the vibe I was looking for today. She is, she was. I chose the wrong album. God damn it. I'm so disappointed. You know, do not do, do, not, not, do you, not say the name, please. No, but it. you know when you listen to artists when you're growing up and then maybe your taste evolve and then you go back and then you're like Ooh. Wow, that's garbage. <laughs> Did I actually like that? <laughs> yes, I told you though. I I was the telling lyricism you. is terrible. <laughs> I told you though. Well, but this is the vibe I wanted. Like she's speaking about some real shit. It's is 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 phrased in a really nice way. It's modernistic, yeah. Yeah, it's modernistic, somewhat colloquial, modernistic. Uh, but her 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 phrasing and her mm-hmm. uh, what would you call it delivery. Makes it ten times nicer. Yeah, um, and then you go bam, Jr. It's so funny. Punch you in the face. It's so funny because it's like a generational collab, isn't it? Of like, because oh, Jr. Gosh. is, you know, he depicts a generation of R and B, same as Kyla. Oh, true. You know, the early two thousands. True. Uh, in a in the east, um, and then you obviously had this sound as well, very you know, happening very in popular, the west. Yeah. Um, I mean, even he will tell you that he loved that type of music and he had inspirations from all over the world, but. Now this is the the female sound you get in R and B commercial R and B nowadays, now, you know, yeah. oh, or at oh, least a couple of years back. Even now, I mean, you, you know, you you listen to other mm-hmm. artists like mm-hmm. she has, she's like part Filipino, right? Like her. Oh yes. Um, Ella May, she just released a new album. Mm-hmm. It's, this it has this cadence. Um, I like hers though because hers feels a bit more. What would you call it? A bit more vocally predominant because she's able to do that sound in the wish bus that, that that's what i would say, say. Uh, do you know what is crazy though when you hear these songs this mix like like done in the wish bus and they sound like they are the actual original Studio? soundtrack like it's not it's not I don't know how to explain yeah, it produce, like it's like, yeah like it's not produced in the studio but you're hearing a finished yeah. Like CD product life, life. is like whoa whoa life. wait a, hold on a second you know? yeah it sounds quite funny to say but it, it, it's, it's expected it's yeah like, it's, you know it's not a shocking anymore no 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 it is because that that freak listen to that well you can look entrance. at the reaction ten seconds ago it no is still actually quite fucking just shocking. just listen to that entrance because that's stupid he's like coming in so hard. Yeah. <laughs> Calibrated also, too. Yeah, it's syncopated, so you never see it coming. You know I'm all about your baby. Ah, he's stupid good. My dad came out, Jr. <laughs> you know I'm all about you. Ah, this guy. Come on! 
freaking tiny yeah. and minimalistic she is with her vocal like like her mouth modulation is so like small it's, it's like and Ma- it amplifies the the feel of the song right it makes it oddly more attractive as yeah. well more seductive in that sense as if it was some somehow a Ooh. whisper or, or a secret like you're I'm letting you in into something really special yes or it'd be more intimate rather than mm-hmm. if it would be so sort of you know sort of sort of physical in it physical and big <laughs> and sort of big pronunciations <laughs> Fuck me, no, you just don't. Just don't. Bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> It's about divorce, babe. Divorce. <laughs> God bless it, though, man. I love her, no, and she's a beating. Get a little defensive, but my love for you's endless. How this, I love you so much. How is she so velvety? I don't get it. Oh, longer. On wish 1075. Oh, you killed that. You know that. Come on. She was also so invested into that piece. It, you know what's interesting? It's like... Um, she killed that. Their performances and also sort of the characters they have. Well, maybe not the characters, but the l- l- lyrically speaking, the personification of the lyrics that they have decided to portray, both like the male energy and then the female energy. Mm. They're really well um, exemplified by their performance vocally. Like if oh, you look yeah, at... Definitely. If, If you look at JR, sort of big modulation of things and big uh-huh. diction and, and big uh, effort, uh-huh. uh, uh, much more physical, sort of what we're taking the piss off before, uh-huh. but obviously done in a still in an attractive, seductive way. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's so physical. Powerful. It's so, yeah, it's so invested, uh, physically speaking. Yeah, right. powerful, robust. Yeah. And then you look at her performance... It's and very even there, delicate. yeah, velvety, intimate, yes. uh, uh, small, refined, uh, yes, and and very youthful and bright at the same time. Delicate, and mm. yet, actually, ironically enough, they both do maintain this air of delicacy, which is sort of necessary for to create this to encapsulate love mm-hmm. in a song, right? Yes, um, especially in the way that they have uh, decided to go forward with the concept of the song. It's but, it's very it's very sensual, but at the same time, it's a. Uh, It's, ve- it's like, uh, yeah, it's like something very intimate. Well, the so, yin and yang, that's sort of what you're seeing there. The, that's right. The, the sort of, it's really well balanced. Yes, and, and she's quite interesting because it's her piece, right? So it is, like, I guess she's revealing that personal section of, of her mm-hmm. uh, or whatever she decided to take inspiration in. So it is a bit softer. It is, it is a bit yes. like this is... As Holding in- it a, a bit more dear. Yes, yeah, exactly. To her, yeah. And to him, it's this maximal expression of love mm-hmm. because he is the ad lib. He is the voice, the narrator, the voice, <laughs> yeah. you know, from the top. So it's really, really interesting. That- yeah, it's a bird's eye view, yes. basically, of, of, of the whole uh, uh, interaction. So really interesting to it's dissect really that because there's, it's like much more than what you just get at face value. At face value, you get a good song commercial value mm-hmm. great singing ability yes technically then you go a bit deeper but then also contextually and then lyrically conceptually concept conceptually, conceptually speaking yeah it's also that's very, a good piece that's, it's that's, a very robust there's song. actually much more there than the yeah sort of the ear may fool you to just it's like ah oh, it's a good song yeah why do i like it so much and then you start dissecting i will i now now i want to listen to the or like to the studio version Touch her up. just just because i'm just interested because. in that and plus she's pretty too She is adorable. Let's yeah. see. Let's see what she's got. So she's easy on the eyes. <clears throat> Definitely. What's her name? Ilona. Ilona. Garcia. Garcia. Let's see. She has his uncle Valorant. Okay. Entertain me for months. Yeah, she's ago. very famous. Wow. Entertain me. Uh, Vivo version. Nice. Yeah, she's okay. very famous. Let's have a look. And now we're gonna get blocked. Oh, okay. Sorry. I don't mean in the sense. I Google. I Google. Ah, okay. I wanted to hear something different now. Is she Thai? Is she from Thailand? I thought she was Filipino. I don't know. Is she not Filipino? Maybe she's half and half. Okay. Uh, Ilona. Ilona Garcia. She's Filipino Australian. Australian. She's Filipino. Wow, she's so famous. 4.2 million followers. Oh, wow. Dude, she's a good looking woman. All right, let's see. She is... She's 20 years old. No way! So that's perhaps why she has that sort of youthful, delicate... No way! Naive. Wow. Not that's calling cool. her... If in case you're watching, I'm not calling you naive, mate. I'm, I'm like three years older than you. I'm still a reader. 
It's a Filipino. Wow, she was born in 2002. How wild is that? Oh my god. That's so crazy to me. She People were born after the... 2000. Oh yeah, right? That's crazy. I'm only and joking. then they're and then they're all and they're adults. I'm only joking. I was only born in 98. Still though. It's just, I, it's just it's weird. ironic to me that people say that. <laughs> anyway, so she went to Pinoy Big Brother. All right, where she finished as first runner-up at the end of the competition. So she must have a personality. She she signed with ADA Racing in 2021, though. Good on her. Yeah, nice. she has a lot of international nice. appeal. Nice. I like oh, her. Imagine, in order to be in some of those shows, yeah, where it's like Bethany, Bethany. took a dump. In Emily's back. I think it's different in the Philippines. I don't know, but it, to sort of survive those type of shows, you have to be like on guard, bro. Yeah, in, in, indeed. Her first music video was released in 2016. Nice. nice okay. And then her latest one is Entertain Me. Entertain Me. What's the one we just heard? Entr- uh, well, well, the one something with, maybe? With Jay? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe that wasn't a, a title release. Mm, maybe, maybe it was that. a B-side. Mm, who knows? Yeah, maybe a little bit featuring JR. 2019. So how old was she then? 18. Oh, wow. My God, that's well, good. She was 17 then. Oh, my God. What wow. the hell? So you got to be careful. Awesomeness. That's so crazy. She's able to write so maturely. Uh-huh. But another one like that. Again, doesn't surprise me. It's the Philippines. Yeah. Uh, another example of that is like Jada. Jada. I was so mind blown by that. JR, he's fucking cool. I love that guy.